Scattered across the Mojave Desert, the wreckage of the craft that could have been taking tourists to space in a matter of months. The test flight was all going to plan, so why did Spaceship Two break up minutes after its release from the mothership? Extending the feather. Feather's moving. This is the craft on a previous flight. The feathering system lifts and rotates the tail to create a sort of break and help the space plane descend. Investigators say on Friday it was activated too early. The feathers moved into the deployed position and two seconds later we saw disintegration. That's, that's the fact. We'll find out the analysis as a part of the investigation. Mike Alsbury, seen here in a promotional video, was the pilot who died. His colleague Peter Siebold survived. His account will help determine whether human error or a mechanical fault caused the crash. There's been speculation that the new fuel wasn't safe, but the tanks and engine were all found intact. The defiant boss insists the mission will continue. Once I'd met the 400 engineers and staff in the Mojave, once we'd had the biggest hug ever, once I asked them if, if, uh, if they'd want to fly on um, uh, the next spaceship that we built, and every single one of them cheered and said they would, and you, you realise you've got something special, and we, so we, we, will, we will fight on. And one of the hundreds of ticket holders who's paid a deposit on a quarter of a million dollar ride isn't deterred. The chances when you do fly, they're saying, will be less than the chances of an airline uh, accident if you're flying commercially. That's how fine-tuned they're trying to make this program. So uh, I'm pretty confident by the time I go up, and I'm passenger number 610, so I've got quite a few people in front of me, that any bug will be uh, worked out. In fact, Sir Richard Branson says two more people have signed up since Friday's crash, but this is still a monumental setback. For a venture already running well behind schedule, it will take yet more time and money to get the space dream back on track.